Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today for our live webinar where our experts will help you understand optimize inventory management with ServiceNow Hardware Asset Management. My name is Archana and I will be your moderator for today's webinar along with my colleague Rajiv Goel and Ashish Kumar. And if you have any questions or have trouble hearing or viewing us at any point in time, please let us know in the question window that you can see on the right hand side of your screen. You can also post your questions or any comments in the same window anytime during the presentation. We have a dedicated Q&A slot at the end of the presentation. Now I would like to welcome Rajiv, who is the practice head for service now at Royal Cyber and Ashish, technical lead at Royal Cyber. Thank you very much for giving us your valuable time. All right, let's touch upon the agenda of today's webinar. So first we'll talk about business needs and challenges. Then obviously as for the topic of the webinar, we have to understand what exactly is hardware asset management. And moving forward, we'll discuss the life cycle of hardware asset management. And then we'll discuss features and benefits of hardware asset management. Uh, then after we'll give you a short demo and at the end of the presentation, we'll cover all the questions that you'll post on the comments or question window section. So let's start off with a brief introduction about who we are and what exactly do we do. So Royal Cyber is a business consulting and digital transformation company specializing in services, solutions and softwares. So we have been innovating since 2002. It's been two decades that we have been in business consulting business and we have over 1000 employees and 600 plus uh, global happy customers. So across the globe, Royal Cyber provides reliable, high performing solutions and services in commerce, cloud analytics, mobile AI, middleware integration, service now. Uh, being headquartered in Naperville, Illinois, we have offices located in different parts of the world, namely um, Canada, Mexico, Australia, UK, Saudi Arabia. And we also have our delivery centers in India and Pakistan. We design strategies to modernize, expand and build value, delivering impactful journeys for our clients and creating a 360 degree values across their digital transformation journey. Now, I'll quickly touch upon what exactly can we deliver when it comes to ServiceNow. So as a ServiceNow premier partner, we can transform key areas of IT service, providing your teams the capacity and insight they need to achieve improvements on. Our hardware asset management practice helps our clients transform their hardware asset management capabilities to improve value, increase agility, and create viable business performances. You will discover how Royal Cyber delivers the ServiceNow better and faster services and help your entire enterprise function at its best. And with that, I'll hand over the session to Ashish. Ashish, over to you. Thanks, Archana, for the brief overview. Hello and welcome, everyone. My name is Ashish Kumar Sau, Service Now Technical SME at Royal Cyber. Thank you for the, taking the time to join us today as we will talk about hardware set management. I'm very excited to bring this live webinar for you. All right. So as we all know, in the era of digital transformation, every business is transitioning to become digital and thus have huge dependency on IT infrastructure. Business spend lots of money in purchasing, procuring the IT infrastructure, but lack in managing the same. And we all would agree that there are huge savings to be made on software within an organization through software asset management. But what about the hardware aspect? Are there costs seeming to be made on desktops, laptops, physical servers, sector? Per this statistics published by a global agency, we can see that roughly 21% of IT budgets are for hardware. It includes end user hardware like desktop, laptop, mobile, data center technology like server, UPS, and networking like router, firewall, and so on. So all of these hardware are associated with a cost. That's why hardware set plays an important role for an organization. An organization spent lots of money on that. So what challenges we face with legacy HAM or without HAM? 
So the challenges faced by organization with the legacy ham is manual process. There are lots of manual process involved, which leads human error from repetitive tasks, slow service to end users. Disconnected tools. Tool gaps are filled by manual process from purchase to disposal, which cause the issue in monitoring of asset life cycle. It increased the cost and risk, inaccurate received and installed inventory, unavoidable purchases, unproven compliance with privacy and regulations. So here we have seen the business challenges with legacy ham. Now we will see, for example, where the visibility of asset lost for an organization. So visibility is really a fundamental reason why customers should pursue hardware asset management. And if you think about it without complete and accurate visibility, tackling and managing the cost because each hardware is associated with the cost. So that's become critical. We need to have a visibility. And if I come look into it, for example, operational activity, company changes, business initiative, compliance risk, security risk. So if I summarize all these points, the asset is associated with different kind of lease contracts. There are a lot of acquisition and mergers are happening. Workforce keep moving from one place to another place. So how we will manage all of these assets if and when you go to the service sectors, the reduction is much more high. So it is become very difficult to manage assets. How can I minimize the spend on the asset? I need to know what is there in my stock room, how I can best utilize what is available. They are available so I can reduce the requirement cost, buying cost. There are so many vendor audits required to be compliance. The asset can be lost because asset is moving. It is not static that can be lost or stolen and so on. So fairly visibility is crucial to harvest management. So we have seen so far in this presentation, the business challenges and where an organization lost the visibility of their assets. Right. So now what is ham and why ham? Hardware asset management is a process that will help you create accountability and transparency with, with your IT hardware. With effective hardware asset management, there is a potential for big saving on hardware as well as software. The saving an organization even more money through hardware asset management. So the goal of hardware asset management is control your inventory. Reduce the cost of purchasing and managing the assets. Manage the asset lifecycle from planning to disposal. Achieve compliance with relevant standard and regulations. It improves to end users. So here we have understood what is HAM and its goals. Now let's talk about why an organization should pursue HAM. What is the main reasons? If we have to summarize this survey, this survey ITM review listed nicely that there are three main reasons to do ham in your business. Cost, visibility and risk. Where cost accounts nearly 42%, visibility accounts nearly 32% and risk account nearly to 25%. So taking a look at cost savings, there can be dollar of amount tied to unused hardware purchases. Or rather, after HAM implementation, decreasing the amount of unused hardware purchases as well as accurate quantity for better vendor pricing. Right, instead of going to vendor multiple times, every time we need a few laptops, if we know of the organization needed in advance, we can negotiate better pricing where maybe order larger quantities. So visibility means what we own to know what hardware are in use and operational or which are need to be retired or which can be reutilized. There should be track of hardware asset lifecycle. So visibility is really a fundamental reason why customers should pursue hardware management because if you think about it without complete and accurate visibility, that not possible run and managing cost. So when it comes to risk 
as compliant to make hardware asset compliant, timely renewal, retirement and disposal of hardware to help protect revenue and business resilience. The business need to know what IT assets are owned, where they are located, who is using them and more. So here we have understood that why an organization need to implement HAM. Let's see why hardware asset management managed through hardware asset management. So service no hardware asset management as part of the platform connects the enterprise with a single platform and then you are able to automate the IT life cycle with workflows through hardware asset management thus resulting in reduced cost and risk within your business. So some top use cases are for manual labor where there's no time and bandwidth or resources to do physical inventory. Finding expensive hardware that's not being used and taking it off the book lost or those assets with sensitive data on it. So keeping track, keeping track of those assets, making sure that we are complying with all the privacy concerns and then leveraging warranty info appropriately. Faulty equipment, replacement, that's not worth repair. Knowing those life cycle dates, knowing when things are coming up at end of life, knowing if an asset is covered under warranty, you can use that warranty to the fullest extent. All right, so let's see the process flow of ServiceNow hardware and management and how it works on now platform. Well, the first step, as we know, the organization keep their hardware data in different system that we from these different data sources like service, now discovery, other procurement systems, spreadsheet, and so on. We put all this hardware data together to source, for example, laptop, desktop, and so on. So you can see here three different naming convention for same Apple MacBook, MacBook 15 inch that shows up discovered data doesn't map cleanly to purchase data. So the next step is to normalize the data because visibility starts with trusted data that's easy to understand and maintain a clean central system of record. So utilizing our content library and our research team, service now provide a content service to standardize all of this data across your different hardware assets. You might receive the manufacturer, the product model, the type and the model number. And ultimately, as we have this data standardized within the repository, this is where we are able to automate some of those process from acquiring and deploying hardware all the way to disposal of it. So the end of end to end life cycle is managed through service now provided workflows. And last, we start to automate more of this hardware process. We turn into a more strategic initiative for hardware asset management, where you are able to reduce your asset spend, eliminate some of those manual process through our workflows and ultimately reduce your compliance risk. Altogether, at ITOM, ITAM, ITSM, HR fits in better together solution with some of the other solution on the ServiceNow platform. And another one I like would like to mention is the IT service management and IT asset management combo where we can automate some of these asset tasks during the incident and chain life cycle. So this is how HAM works on my now platform. All right. So let's see the HAM life cycle. So a quick overview of the end to end hardware management life cycle from request all the way to retire. The reason I like this slide is it kind of puts in more into the words of your our what we might see every day. So for example, under full fails, I only need to advise to hardware if it is in stock and having that kind of visibility to drive those kind of business decisions. So there are nine stages in the IT hardware asset lifecycle that follow the asset from planning to sunsetting through automated workflows and tasks, which is only available with HAM 
as earlier it all was managing manually okay so so far in this presentation we have talked about ham challenges what and why ham ham life cycle and process flow on service now platform now we will see the ham features and benefits so let's talk about service now ham features first so for those who are leveraging might be leveraging it asset management and now are now working on implementing hardware asset management this shows some of the difference between the two the additional capabilities and solution that you get with hardware asset management so based asset management which you can see in the lower half of the triangle you get access to a couple of table mostly everything is manual unless you have configured your own workflow within the platform as part of your hardware asset management solution you get the hardware asset dashboard hardware normalization as well as asset life cycle automation workflows out of the box you can take any of this out of the box workflow and configure it best fit your business need so let's see few ham features in detail so service now leveraging you know key feature within the service now platform is service portal so service catalog that service portal giving our users one shop shop that when they say i want or i need a hardware they can map those catalog item to the product catalog and we can map that to the service catalog for request so now the employees can come and place those requests in a central place so they can view updates and track the request so when the request comes in we want that central workflow to connect our processes and drive us forward so we want to focus on these single pane of glass views this repeatable activities that when we have our supply chain team our procurement teams our inventory managers they can view these sourcing request and say i see it a request in from a user so previously on the platform had the manual type process for receiving and providing the assets so let's see hardware asset workspace which is only available with hardware asset management for an asset manager or ham admin the hardware asset manager workspace serves as a command center for hardware asset managers to track and manage their assets driving efficiency at every stage of life cycle customer need a single tool that enable them to drive efficiency and automate ham tasks throughout the asset life cycle without having to rely on multiple tools and data source in order to get big picture view of their asset state the hardware asset manager workspace provides a centralized single pane view of the hardware asset state is directing user to critical action item that drive ham outcomes at every stage of asset life cycle the customer can dive into their important action take the take out the guess work of asset life cycle process right so we will cover it in our demo in more detail so now to optimize your inventory to improve asset utilization and service delivery through single view pane so having solid hardware inventory organization helps you keep track of your asset upgrade your inventory when needed and avoid theft or losses a hardware asset management inventory can help you determine the condition and life span of your hardware as well as monitor access within your it department so hardware normalization one of the best feature ham which i like the most with hardware cement, hardware normalization you can get the trust for the data needed to verify what assets you have and be able to prove it automatic and continuous normalization standardized model by category with uns psc data to maintain a clean cmdb remove manual updates to improve time and eliminates errors it aligns to a global standard the united nation standard product and service code 
which is UNS PSC. When a manufacturer creates the new product or the new model, they code it to this global standard. And ServiceNow bring that every same global standard into a ServiceNow instance, which keep our CMDB data clean and accurate. Right? So the hardware normalization is really a good and advanced feature. Now let's see the automated workflows which has been provided by ServiceNow under HAM product only. So one of the pieces that I really want to focus here is HAM workflows. We call it asset workflows. These are standard practice or leading practice workflow for a specific outcome as per the company standard. So all the task process from end to end, optimize the asset life cycle, plan, receive, operate, service, swap, and dispose asset efficiently. For all the hardware asset life cycle, there is a standard automated workflow available, which eliminated manual work and error. Automated task assignment help customer to serve efficiently and effectively. Low code flow designer enables customers to easily modify workflows as needed to suit their business. So asset lifecycle automation includes workflows, new hardware requests, stock order, asset disposal, and so on, and automates the update to assets and CI on existing ITSM ticket to remove operational burden and risk from manual error. Let's take a quick example on the screen. This is an incident ticket for a broken laptop. So resolver got replacement. So what the resolver need to do here is initiate their asset action on swap. They name the new device going in the hand of the computer. So they search and find it and then they click resolve. When they do that, system update the hardware the broken CI, the broken asset, and all associate contract, lease, and or warranty, and so on, to the new SAP CI automatically. All right. So let's see the HAM capability over the agent mobile app. So Leverage Service Now Agent app for flexible asset receiving provides IT asset management, stock room managers, etc. Visibility to all managed hardware and consumable assets. Create for lookup assets, view open purchase orders, receive assets from a PO into inventory. Right? Installation of hardware asset management plugin enables item agents to perform asset audits and disposal processes, whether or not they are connected to a network. Mobile asset inventory audit allow employees to view the exact location of hardware via ServiceNow mobile app. Conduct scheduled or ad hoc asset inventory audits of stock room or office location by scanning barcodes and your current asset tracking process. Audit can be scheduled or on demand. Audit stock rooms, data center and office locations. So there are various other features available through that an agent can perform action through agent mobile app, which is only available with ServiceNow HAM application. Right here, so far we have seen all the features of hardware set management. Now let's see what benefits an organization achieve through hardware set management implementation on the ServiceNow platform. So having HAM process in place can save an organization a fortune both on hardware and subsequent software. Actively and correctly managing hardware assets throughout its life cycle can lead to a reduction in the amount of money spent on the hardware during its life cycle at the organization. It reduces maintenance cost. It's reduced hardware budgets. It's reduced software spend. Also, it's potential to save money through disposal processes and it's mitigate security risk. So business hardware doesn't always seem like a very safe investment. It depreciates in value quickly, sees ongoing wear and tear. It demands regular maintenance and occasional repair work. 
So effective hardware asset management helps counter these drawback. Now let's jump to the demo where we will see how to create model, a little example of hardware model normalization and publishing a hardware model to the service catalog. And also we will see a brief overview of hardware asset workspace, how it useful it is for an asset manager. So let's jump into the instance. All right, so we are going over hardware management, the solution within the platform. So let's assume Royal Cyber is a company has different system to keep their hardware asset data and now implementing hardware asset management on now platform. So now platform has three key pieces. The first piece is bringing in all our hardware data, right? So whether that's coming from service node discovery or procurement system or vendors, spreadsheets, third party inventory, any of those, if you are currently working on Excel, right? Those would be the spreadsheet that bringing that data. And oftentimes, imports can happen with a lot of opportunities of manual work where we see human errors, right? As I have shown you in one of my slide, their Apple MacBook 15 inch comes with different name, with same model number, right? So what service now does is we go off the model number and then we take it over to. So that is the step one. Here in my screen, you can see the all discovered data stored in the asset history. Right? You have seen the asset state, you can see the display name, model category, and configuration item. So step two, where we normalize all our data. So in step one, we bring in all the data. Step two, we clean up all the data so the content service that is included as part of hardware management include the content library which updated by service now continuously with updates with up-to-date information from your publishers and manufacturers as well as the research team to go out and search anything that's not currently in the content library okay so i'm opening hardware models where you can see the manufacturer, model categories, device type, normalization status, right? And life cycle dates. Now that we brought in the data and we have cleaned the data, we can now take action on it through our out of box workflow, right? So step three is all the action that we take with our hardware asset from acquiring, auditing, receiving, maintaining, and disposing. So take a look at hardware normalization. We are going to create a hardware model. So in real world, the uh, data comes through discovery or import system. I am creating it manually to show you normalization process. Okay. So I am just going to create a manual mod hardware model here. I'm clicking new. I'm selecting the value like Dell, putting the name. Okay, and just click save. So if you go into the normalization tab, we will see it is partially normalized. It says manufacturer normalized because it's normalized the manufacturer name only, right? Because we have that model number. So let's put this and save the record. Saving the record now. Let's open the normalization tab. Now we can see it's been fully normalized, are able to data from the content library. You can see the normalized product, model number, and device type. Also, the life cycle of this hardware model, like general ability, end of support, end of life, end of sale, right? So here you can see the source is service now because it's added data from the service now library, but the source of this uh, data is the publishers who publish this data into a standard library. So that's why the lifecycle type is publishers and source is service now, right? So let's go into the product catalog tab to see how we can publish this to service catalog. 
for end users to make request, right? So I'm putting some description over there. Okay, and also putting description. Like you can say, going back again to product catalog, we'll see publish to hardware catalog link here and we click it. It asks the category, so I'm choosing hardware. Click to OK. So you will see the catalog has been created. Now I'm adding an image. Okay, you can add price as well and click on save. And also I am associate, I have to associate a process flow for this catalog item so that when user has ordered it, it process through our automated workflows. So I'm adding standard hardware set request. If you want, you can try it. See, I can see my item here and end user can go and simply order this item. If you want, you can utilize the catalog item features like you can add variables or get more input from the end user. But here I'm just showing you an example how we can publish for a hardware catalog for the service catalog, right? So I, you, end user can go and order now. See, the request has been submitted. Right? So the, that kind of a walkthrough I have shown you. We had so far like creating a hardware model, a lit example of normalization, what that can look like, publishing a hardware model, the service catalog, which has submitted by an end user. Right? Now let's see other side of process where an asset manager can perform action such kind of a request and raise by end user. So I am in the work hardware asset workspace now, and since ServiceNow is a role based platform, where Sam is the Royal Cyber Asset Manager, we'll see what he need to see and the things that doesn't need to see as an asset manager will be hidden from him. So in this hardware asset workspace, we see here at the top of hardware asset overview and this is going to be considered the dashboard of dashboard so we have some important actions at the top which refresh daily and this is going to identify any important responsibility that he might need to complete as a task so for example any missing model data or asset data he will be able to view here okay and this is going to be valuable as he tries to utilize data and keep it consistent across the organization this is also going to help increase normalization rate for that model data. So Sam can open up these records and it open up for the review. Let's enter a model number and save it. And close out that record to go on with other tasks. Okay. Down below, we have a quick link, which are just some reports that he will need. So for example, model normalization, asset request, transfer order, stock order, and so forth. And so all of these are being pulled from the different dashboard views. So as you can see here, this is a model dashboard number, and this will be pulled in from model management. This at asset request being pulled from the asset dashboard, which is pulled from the asset state and so forth. So this quick link, also filterable by location, stock room, model category, which is going to be important as you have employees that work remotely or in different location across the globe. Sam can also view 360 asset view and overall performance, right? Which are just going to be same interactive report that pull together some asset data such as asset count by model category, more a life cycle state, Asset value by model category, 
asset eligible for refresh. So this is going to be help Sam determine what he need to be disposed of this model. And if he needs to reach out to the vendor to identify any new model that he can replace this with. Okay, so in the left hand side, we will we will have specific view related to this different type of hardware data. So here Sam can track all of his inventory related items such as the stock room, open asset, audits, disposal order, loaner asset order, and so forth. He can also create new asset added directly from the space directly. We will go into open up the asset audit and see that is in progress. As we go along this asset audit, he can scan more assets and then continue on until he finishes up with the audit. So as you can see here, these are expected assets. These are scanned assets. We will see audit status based on what we have found and scanned. OK, so here also quick view of model management. Where Sam can see some data like hardware model, consumer model, bundle models. Overview by model by category, models, and their category. And then the normalization matrix. So, this is where the CMDB is going to come into pull in the normalization status based off that model and model number. Right? We can also publish from this page onto the product catalog if we want to make this model available for request for end users. And then any model lifecycle overview for general availability, end of support, end of life, for a model status, right? OK, and so with that, I will pause and switch into our other persona, which is Abel, who is our end user today. And so from Abel's view, we see here a different view, which is our service portal. So from our different category, Able Tutor can request any hardware or software application that are available to him. So he can go into request and order any workflow. So some of the workflow that end user can submit include RMA order. So RMA is the process of returning a product to a business to receive a refund, replacement, or repair. The business and customer discuss the problem, and the business determines the validity of issue. Okay. So Abel had creating an order. So this is the order page, asset armada, return merchandise authorization order page. We can add asset here, which is back to the vendor. So let's choose any asset. So once we submit this RMA, So it has been submitted. So I will go back in Sam view to fulfill this RMA order. So from that workspace, Sam can go into fill Abel's RMA request. So here he can found that RMA order request. He can open this, which will indicate that we need to send this back on site to the vendor. And once we close out this task, let me open the task first. We have opened this and we're taking the RMA action on site. If you want, you can add a note. So Sam just closing this task. Stock room is required to fill the repair. Sam has closed this task. Now go back to the task view and refresh it. You will see automatically on site repair task has been opened. So we'll go again the task. Repair the confirmation, yes. In the RMA vendor number and then close the task. Okay, so now that Sam is going to fill this RMA task, 
and you can see all the tasks has been closed. So it happened through the automated workflow related to RMA orders, right? So in our demo, we showed the hardware asset workspace, which allow asset manager like Sam to really see a centralized purpose built workspace. And then we will also saw some of the state as asset state. So getting all of that model and asset related data in workplace allows Sam the visibility. And asset RMA is the one of the scenario in HAM. Feel free to reach out to us for other process which is not covered as part of this demonstration. Now we will begin answering the question and we move into our QA session. <laughs>